Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this compound shape that consists of bunch of right triangles. As you can see in this figure, such that this line segment AD is 16 units and this line segment CD is 9. And now we are going to find the value of these missing sides AB and this is BC and this BD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this video, I am going to share with you two different approaches. And here's our very first method. In this method, I'm gonna show you a really simple way to find the value of these missing sides. And here's our very first step. Let's recall right triangle altitude theorem. And here's our right triangle altitude theorem. And here are our right triangle. This is our right triangle. And this is our right triangle as well. And if this line segment is M, this line segment is N, and this altitude is height is H, then H could be written as equal to square root of m times n. So let me go ahead and call this line segment m, this line segment n, and I'm gonna call this height h. And let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula, h equal to square root of m in our case is 16 and n is nine. So h equal to square root of 144 so h turns out to be positive 12 make sure that h must be positive since it represents the length so thus our length bd turns out to be 12 units and here's our next step let's focus on this triangle abd which is a right triangle and now we can see this 16 16 could be written as 4 times 4 and this 12 could be written as 3 times 4 and now let's recall pythagorean triplets and here are our Pythagorean triplets as you can see over here. In our case, we got four over here and three over here. Then we can see that this three, three, four, five triples are going to work for us. So that means this side is going to be five. And since we have a multiple of four, then I am going to multiply this one four as well. So five times four is going to give us 20. So that means that this side AB turns out to be 20. And in this next step, let's focus on this uh, triangle BCD. And here are our Pythagorean triplets. If we look at this thing, nine could be written as three times three. 12 could be written as 4 times 3 and here we can see that 3, 4, 5 combination is going to work for us. So that means this side is going to be 5 times 3. So that means 5 times 3 means this side is going to be 15. So thus we figured out all our missing sides. And now let me share with you the second method and it will also explain this formula that we used in our previous method. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABD and we know that this is a right angle. Let me call this angle alpha and this angle beta then alpha and beta are going to be complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. And now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle BCD. And we know this is a 90 degree angle. And we know that this is a 90 degree angle as well. If this is beta, then this angle has got to be alpha because alpha and beta are complementary angles. 
and if this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be beta as well so therefore we conclude that these two right triangles abd and this other triangle bcd are similar triangles by angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we can use proportion and we can equate these ratios i can say cd divided by bd i can put down cd divided by bd equals to bd divided by ad this is our bd and this is our ad and now let's go ahead and cross multiply if we cross multiply we are going to get bd square equal to ad times c d now let's take care of square root to undo this square so we can write this one as this square and square root is gone so b d turns out to be square root of a d times c d and this is the proof of this formula and we know our ad value is 16 and our cd value is 9 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so bd turns out to be square root of 16 times 9 so that means our bd value turns out to be 12 so thus our side length bd turns out to be 12 units and in this next step let's focus on this triangle abd and now let's recall this pythagorean triplets once again here we can see three four five and we can see in this triangle this 16 could be written as four times four 12 could be written as three times four and this uh, unknown side is going to become five times four so this side is going to be 20 and in this next step let's focus on this triangle bcd and we can see that this 9 could be written as 3 times 3 this 12 could be written as 4 times 3 then according to these pythagorean triplets 3 4 5 is going to work for us so this unknown side is going to be 5 times 3 5 times 3 is same as 15 so that means our side bc is going to be 15 units so thus our unknown sides turned out to be 12 15 and 20 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye